All right, welcome to this quick demonstration of and introduction to Wings. I'll give you a quick look around the, the content management system and show you the basics uh, to get you started with your Wings project. As you can see here, I'm looking at uh, a page. How did I get here? Let me just hop back to the content overview. When I click content, uh, I am presented with a list of articles. So there are two types of pages really. Normal pages, um, like your contact page or about page. You can see the list of pages here. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, test pages and articles. So those are typically news articles, blog posts and what have you. Let's start with a page and I will edit this page, a new demo page is what it is called. So when I click here, I'm placing the cursor inside the, the edit window, the edit um, environment. Uh, if I click here, I can obviously type text. This is some text. And as you may expect, you can select text and use the, the toolbar here, the layout toolbar, toolbar to change the the layout of the of the text so this is pretty straightforward straightforward um, what is really important is that there is a collection of custom cards when I click on card you are presented with a list of more advanced uh, editorial cards including simple ones like image if you click here you can select an image you can click it Choose the layout, for example, large. And I can also add a quote. It can be a, a block quote. This is a block quote. Well, let me use a pull quote. And I would advise you to try out all the different options here so you can know which building blocks you can use to craft a nice looking page. Sometimes if you type the cursor doesn't work an extra enter helps. So this is a bug that will be ironed out pretty soon. One ad advanced card is the notes card. It offers you the option to display a selection, uh, a manual selection of other cards, uh, other pages or articles, like a new demo page and um, let's see a demo article and another one. Or you can display an archive, an automated list of all articles or pages or petitions or what have you. So let me just do this. Some additional text. Oh, does it, there's a typo. Another advanced card which you will probably be using is the campaign card. This allows you to display a sign up campaign or a, a fundraiser campaign, a petition, or an event campaign, like my petition. So now what you should know is. If you save it or if you haven't published it yet, if you publish it, the change will not be immediately visible on the on the front end because the entire site is rendered, which will re result in a, a very fast and secure website. It does mean that the um, well that you have to wait just for a minute or so before the changes are visible on the front end. So if you click refresh, nothing happens, but if you wait a bit, it will. So if we refresh now, we will see that it does indeed show the elements that we added to the page. Now you can see there's no featured image for these two pages. Well, we can fix that by 
going to uh, actually I've I've highlighted the page on its own page, which maybe which is a bit weird, but it does show that I need to fix this page by adding a featured image. You can do that when you go to platforms. You can add a featured title or a description. This is used on locations where the page or article or campaign is highlighted, is featured like here. Um, it will automatically choose a title or description, but I can have to select some image like this one. So if I save it, this is actually a change that it's fetched uh, immediately. It doesn't depend on uh, a rendering or a new deploy of the entire website. You can see that the change is directly visible. On platform, you can also add specific overrides for title and description for search engines or Facebook or Twitter or WhatsApp. You can also add a Facebook image if you wanted it to be different from the featured image you entered on this tab. Now let me go ahead and um, show you how to create a petition campaign or a different kind of campaign. So every campaign has its own page, but you can also insert it into a different kind of page like we did here. Let me show you the demo petition. So this is its own page and you can use that to link to the petition, but you can also insert it on a page if you want to add more content to a campaign page. So if you go to campaigns, you can add a new campaign, like a sign up, a petition, event or fundraiser. They can also, they can all be used for signups, but signup is a dedicated email newsletter signup, although you can also use it for like a white paper download form or something. A petition has some additional options like sh uh, showing a counter, and an event can show event location information and what have you, and a fundraiser is a different beast because it allows you to, to get, get donations. But they are, they are all similar enough, so let me just show you a petition campaign. There's a title. The slug is what, what will become part of the URL. Let me show you. If you go to the demo petition, demo petition is the slug, and petitions is what will be placed by default as a directory. So. Here is an introduction. This is why we want to do something. The description will be the petition text. So this will be the petition copy. Let me add some more copy. So You can add a header image like this one. But you can also add custom fields. Like you can see here, can you fly yet is a custom field. So there are different kinds of fields you can add to a, a form. First and last name and email address are added automatically. On signatures, you can download the sign signatures you've already collected. And on, uh, settings offers a bunch of additional features. You can disable the terms and conditions checkbox. You can add a URL to a page where you have a privacy policy. The MailChimp tab offers you to hook the petition or other kind of campaign up to uh, a MailChimp list. First, you do have to connect your Wings project to a MailChimp account on settings integrations where you can enter an API key. But if you do that, you will be able to choose your MailChimp list and um, connect the, the fields to it. Then there's also petition options. It allows you to disable the signature count. If you don't want to display that you've on, only collected like 10 signatures thus far. And if you've collected 
signatures on some other platform or maybe locally, physically, uh, on, 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 on paper, then you can add those here to the counter. So you can add like 2000 additional ones. So if we go to the, if we don't save it and go to the demo petition that already exists, this one, so you can see how that corresponds to the result. And you can see that we've added almost 4,000 signatures to the counter. So if we want to publish a, a, a petition campaign, we can of course just share this URL or we can insert this on, an, on a page or like an article, like if we have an, a news article, like another demo article about some topic about, well, the same kind of bird and we want to end it with a campaign form. Let me just remove this and, and re-add the campaign card. So there's a, a big article about this bird that is about to go extinct. Let me add a campaign card. The demo petition. And if I save it, you will get an article that ends with the campaign card, the petition at the bottom. In a similar way as we did to the demo page where you have a bunch of content and it ends with an embedded petition. So these are the, well, this is an overview of the most important features of Wings. Just to get you started, good luck with building a movement and running a successful campaign.